Good morning, everybody. So today, going to talk some more from the book Staying Sober by Terrence Gorski and Merlin Miller, and going to talk a little bit about a controversial uh, topic, addiction as a disease. And so this is something that has been brought up in a lot of the things that we've read in recovery. A lot of the discussions we have in recovery revolve around addiction as a disease, and it's something that a lot of people argue about because for hundreds of years, addiction was regarded as primarily a moral or a psychological problem. So it was something that um, people either had poor morals and they were addicted, or um, they had weak wills, so they couldn't they, they couldn't prevent themselves from indulging too much and damaging the world around them. But research has proven time and time again that there are physical components to addiction. There are body system components to addiction that put it in the same class as other diseases like cancer, kidney disease, diabetes. Um, of course, it's very complicated. So the authors go into it like this, um, and first they describe what addiction is in general. Addiction is a condition in which a person develops biopsychosocial dependence on any mood-altering substance. An addiction causes a person to use a drug for short-term gratification, but there's a price to be paid. The addiction creates long-term pain and discomfort. An addiction is accompanied by obsession, compulsion, and loss of control. When not using, the person suffers an addiction. The person who suffers an addiction thinks about, plans, and looks forward to using again. This is the obsession. Using interferes with living, but there is a compulsion or overwhelming urge to use again despite long-term painful consequences. The addicted person uses the drug to relieve the pain created by using the drug. Thus continues use of the con Thus, continued use of the chemical leads to continued use of the chemical. This is addiction. Addiction is distinguished from drug use by the lack of freedom of choice. Using a mood-altering substance is a choice. Addiction is a condition that robs a person of choice and dictates the frequency, quantity, and nature of use. All addiction begins with use, but all use does not lead to addiction. So really important distinctions here, and when we're talking to people about addiction, you know, a lot of the discussion revolves around freedom of choice and how an addict chooses to be the way they are. And for those of us who have gone through addiction, who are on the other side as recovering addicts, I think we can confidently say that's not true. Um, I, I did not actively choose to be an addict, in fact, I wanted desperately to not be one. I wanted desperately to be able to drink like a normal person or even not drink at all. But that choice, that freedom of choice, was not present until I had a big change in my life, until I had to come to recovery. And so the, the active choice that other people are able to make by turning down drinks, things like that. We don't have that same kind of choice. So they go on to say, addiction is a physical disease. It is properly classified with cancer, heart disease, and diabetes as a chronic illness that produces long-term physical, psychological, and social damage. Like victims of these other diseases, Alcoholics have physical conditions that have caused them to be susceptible to developing the disease. So here he talks about the doctors and researchers who have shown the physical, physical symptoms, the physical issues that lead to addiction. Doctors like uh, Dr. E. M. Jelinek, uh, Dr. James Millam, Charles Lieber, Mark Shuckett. And he cites a couple of places, a couple of examples. Um, for example, the whole process of chemical action in the brain is very complex, but it is very clear that brain chemistry in an addicted person differs from that of a non-addicted person. So people who are addicts actually have a different way that 
things work in their brains that make them more susceptible to addiction. Also, much is being learned from liver metabolism studies that show that many people with a family history of alcoholism metabolize alcohol or break it down and eliminate it from the body differently even before there is any indication of a drinking problem. So people actually have in, in our regular body systems pre, physical predisposition to and, and, and ways that our bodies react to drugs and alcohol that are different from other people. That, it, by definition, is a disease, a physical disease. So then he describes the, they, they describe the pattern and how, how this works. And they say people begin to use alcohol or drugs for psychosocial reasons. They drink because it makes them feel good, a psychological reason, because other people do, because it helps them belong, or because they are pressured to do so social reasons. People come, become addicted for physical reasons. They develop tolerance. It takes more of the drug to make the same effect. The cells of the body adapt to higher levels of the drug and to begin to function normally when it's present. That leads to dependence. The body comes to need the drug. The absence of the drug results in physical withdrawal, causing discomfort and illness. The more people use chemicals to feel good, the less they learn to use more effective ways to experience and cope with feelings, situation, people, and that's what leads to a lot of the problems that we have in our addiction. And so this describes the overall mechanism of how addiction works, why addiction is a disease, and it's very easy for people who have not experienced addiction, who have not been robbed of that freedom of choice, who have not experienced the actual phenomenon of growing tolerance and dependence on a drug to classify addiction as something that is a matter of a weak-willed person or someone with poor morals or someone who doesn't put their family first. Um, it's easy to classify it that way, but it's far more complicated. And uh, time and time again, people have proven that there are physical, physical systems involved in the addict's body that predispose them to addiction. And it doesn't happen overnight. It's not something that, for some people, it doesn't even develop, you know, quickly. It's something that develops over a long period of time for some people or very quickly for others. Depends very largely on the social situation, the psychological situation. But it's a very complex interaction that leads to the ultimate situation where someone doesn't have a choice in their using. And they are using despite desperately wanting not to. And that is the nature of the disease of addiction. So really good stuff here. Um, hope it helps if anybody's having trouble explaining to someone else why addiction is a disease rather than a choice or a moral problem, because I know that that is a sensitive topic for a lot of people. Hope you all have a great Saturday, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.